Mm. Oh, data. That's a nice one. It's been a while since I last uploaded a video on YouTube, and today I want to get into something really cool, which is OData and using it in Microsoft Flow. Let's start with an introduction to OData. OData is a REST-based protocol for querying and updating data, and it is, you, you know what, forget about it, pause it and read it yourself. What really counts for me is that it's a query language. So basically, we use OData to query the data from the source instead of bringing everything that is there inside the flow and processing it, we just use a filter and get a subset of the data that we really need to work with. So when it comes to flow connectors, it's actually like this. We have the flow and whatever the connector that we use to fetch the data from any source, almost any source, uh, we can use OData to query the subset of the data that you really need to work with. If there are like 5,000 records in a list or library or database, open data or anything, uh, we can use OData query and get only the subset of the data, only four or five records that we really need to work with. So it is really helpful, makes our flows a lot faster and lighter. Now let's see how it works. But before I really go there, I want to introduce you to a page called OData Query Cheat Sheet. Just Google it and you will find the first link, which is the Nintex website. And it looks like this. In this page, you will find almost all the forms of expressions that you need to write to query data using OData. You can have the count, expand, and all those things. You can have filter expressions. And this is what we typically use working with the flow. Now let's get into it. To do that, I've already created a list inside SharePoint called products. This list contains a few items, and these items have title, category, unit price, and ID, and some of them also have another property called count. So we have a few blank values here. Now let's see how we can query the products in this list using get list items and combined with OData. If we go to flow.microsoft.com, I click on create and I want to create a new flow. This flow is going to be instant flow, which is going to give you a button to click on it and do the job. So I select the manually trigger a flow and the flow name is going to be OData SharePoint demo. I click on create. And first thing I want to do, I want to create a flow that gives me any product that they have this certain category provided by the user. So I go back to my flow here. And if I click on the button, I can add a field. This field is going to be text. And I give it a name called category and I'm good. Right after that, I want to create a connector to SharePoint. Click on SharePoint and I pick get items. I click on get items and I need to select the site that I want to connect to. And the list name is going to be products this one. As soon as I'm done, if I click on advanced options, I have filter query. And this filter query is going to use OData. For this one, I want to say anything that has the category that is provided by the user. So if I go back to my cheat sheet under filter statements, you have equal. And this is how you define a filter whatever the field that you have, space, EQ, the value that you want to compare to. When we are using flow, we really don't need to put pluses in between them. But if the query goes through URL as a part of the encoding process, space is converted to plus. So this is our syntax. Let's go there and do it. So if I go to filter query, I can say category, 
equals single quote single quote and right in between them I get a category that is coming from the user input I click on save let's click on test and see how it works save and test we're good continue and for the category let me pick one category from here like for example electronics I go back to flow and I pass electronics I just click on run flow done and it works as expected if I click on get items I can scroll down and you will see everything that I find here the are electronics scroll down let me see if there is any other item yes there is also USB key under the electronics category there is also micro SD card again electronics there is nothing else in the list that is not in this category finally computer mouse again electronics so basically it works let me take it one level further so I want to query all the items that the count is null so in this case I come back here I click on edit again and category equals whatever I don't need the category anymore I just say count equals null save let me see if it works this time save and test this time it doesn't matter what I put here because I'm not using the category that comes from the trigger as a part of the filter so I click on run flow done and I'm happy let's see what we got here we got ID 7 let's see here 7 is null and if I scroll down a little bit let's see what other ID I will find ID 9 and if I go here ID 9 again the count is null for your own practice you may want to add an auditor query that returns every item that the unit price is above hundred dollars just go back to the cheat sheet use the greater than and this greater than should give you what you're looking for give it a shot and let me know in the comment below now this is fantastic if everything works the way that we see we actually hit a jackpot now let's see if our jackpot can hold up to our expectation okay before I really challenge OData and different areas and different connectors I want to tell you do not keep your hopes very high I'm building it today and OData is still under development so there are many connectors that they do not support lots of things we are in November 2019 probably if you check this video and you want to do the things in the near future or maybe a few years later I really don't know how long is this video is going to stay here but probably you will get different results this is what OData can offer as of today November 2019 now let's get into it for this part of the video I created an excel sheet inside the excel sheet I created a table and it has three columns product category and unit price I call the table products and I want to upload it to SharePoint inside the same SharePoint site I clicked on the documents library and inside documents I created a folder called OData demo so now let me just drag and drop this file here and if I click on it you will see the content is here now let's connect to this file and query the data inside it uh, if you're not familiar to working with the data inside Excel from Microsoft flow I have another video that shows you how to work with the tables and update the tables even inside uh, Excel sheet using Microsoft flow I will put the link somewhere on the top of this page now let's get back to work I go back to flow designer again I click on create instant flow and again I want to create a button and I say oh oh data excel demo 
and I click on create. Now I need to connect it to Excel inside SharePoint. So new step, I want to use Excel. I click on Excel online business and I want to work with a row. I use list rows present in a table. So I click it and here I can pick the site. This list is a little bit different. Flow course. The library that they want to use is documents. I need to pick the file in the right folder. It's OData demo. And if I expand it, it has products Excel file. And now I can pick a table, which is products. Now, if I click on advanced options, I have the OData. Before we really go there, I'd rather save it and test it without really any filter. So perform the test, save and test, and I click on continue. Run flow, done. And you will see it returns the list of everything that is in that table. So you have product, you have category, and you have unit price. Now, here is a difference. In the previous example, the field that was null was not present. While here, I have it present with the value empty. Let's see if we can query by this field. So basically, by unit price, we want to query. Let me get a copy of it. I click on Edit and Filter Query. I can add when unit price equals null. Save. And let me test it. Save and test. Run flow, done, and run flow failed. Didn't like it. So if I scroll down, invalid filter clause. While we literally use the same filter for list inside SharePoint, and it perfectly worked. And look at the error. It's very interesting. Invalid filter clause, unsupported operation, only single EQ and E contains starts with blah, blah, blah can be used. For God's sake, we used EQ. And it doesn't support null yet with Excel. But maybe we can change it. So let's come here and make it something like empty string. Well, it is different. Actually, this one really matches the value that we got in the output. Now let me click on save. And we test it again. Save and test. Run flow. And done. Again, it fails. And the funny part is that it literally returns the same error. Maybe there's something wrong with this O data. So, you know what? Let's do something really normal. So, when I go here to the products, Let's look for any toys and see if it returns it right. So I come here, I say where toys, where category equals toys in single quote. Save, test, save and test run flow, and done. It's complete, successful, and see if it returned the right value. Exactly. So it returned the only toy that we have, which is ping pong ball. So basically, it works, but not all the functionalities are provided. If you want things like that, probably it's a good idea to go and bug Microsoft a little bit for some more improvements in this area. Now your question is that, for God's sake, how can we get the items with a null value? For that, you need another control called data operations. And you can have filter array. How to use filter array, it's out of the scope of this video. And if you want me to explain it, put it in the comment section below and let me know. I will put a video together and show you how to use the filter array. That was all about it. But my OData videos do not end here. I'm planning to have another video, but the next video is going to be about tips and tricks 
of using the OData. I will put the link right here on this page, somewhere, I don't know, somewhere on the top corner or somewhere like that, as soon as I release this video. And stay tuned, that's going to be really cool. And if there's anything that you want me to cover in that video, rush and put it down below in the comments, comment section. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video.